Welcome. Today I will take you on two of West Coast's most scenic trains, showcasing itinerary recommendation, stunning and unique landscapes spanning over 1,000 miles, as well as foods on board and some unexpected. We've had an incident. We are stopped again. I'm gonna have standing room only on this train. Surprises I encountered along this highlight of West Coast train travel. A week ago, I made my way to Los Angeles Union Station. It was a beautiful, perfect day for a scenic train ride. It was like a scene out of a movie. A parked train overlooking a mountain with a crisp blue sky with silky clouds. Soon, a train was slowly moving in. And yes, the keyword here is slowly. It took nearly two minutes from the curve to reach where I am right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the Pacific Surfliner. This is an inner city rail that connects San Diego to San Luis Obispo over 350 miles. From LA and up, it shares the same track as the Coast Starlight, but has much more frequent stops compared to it. Also note, Pacific Surfliner only offers coach and business class with no sleeper options. Once on board, we departed promptly. Although this train lacks sleeper options, it does have a sightseeing lounge with full-size windows. About an hour into the ride, away from suburb boundaries, is when the Pacific Surfliner really starts surfing along the coast. Metaphorically, of course, I don't think trains can surf. Talk about scene out of a movie, huh? Aww. In case you are new to my channel and wondering why no one's in the water, this was from earlier this winter when I went around the country by a train. Wow, I've never even drove this close to water. But on a train? Phew, this really is a sight and an adventure, isn't it? Plus, if I was driving this close to water, I'd better have my eyes glued to the road ahead and not this stunning sight of waves rocking, right? If you are a driver or a camper unsure of where to go, just look up Surfliner's train route. Follow along and you'll find a great spot to admire what the coastline has to offer. In theory, Hawaii is somewhere over there, on that side, right? The Pacific Ocean? Oh, wait, is that it? No, it's not. Well, it's not Hawaii, but my first recommended stop is coming up. From Los Angeles, book either train of your choice to Santa Barbara, with a connecting bus option to Solvang, California. Upon train arrival, the bus will immediately take you up the mountains to a unique town of Solvang, California. Founded in 1911, this is the one and only Danish capital of America. This is a unique town like no other with its own heritage that is worth a visit for any train riders looking for some easy access destinations from the Coast Starlight or Pacific Surfliner trains. After spending two nights, I got on the same connecting bus back to Santa Barbara. This would be my next recommended stop in this order. Often referred to as the American Riviera, this is your perfect Mediterranean coastal city for your vacation here in West Coast America. A little tip for new Amtrak riders, Amtrak Connecting Bus is only available for purchase if you combine them with a train ticket. So, Solvang first, Santa Barbara second, coming up from LA. Now on Coast Starlight to head to San Francisco. Right upon departure, you can see more and last bits of the coastlines along the route. 
For a lifetime Easterner like myself, it was a surprise to discover that LA and San Francisco was actually some 350 miles apart. I always thought they were pretty close as two of the most talked about cities of California. But yeah, anyhow, it is a 9 hour ride from Santa Barbara to San Francisco. And the first hour or so presents more and last moments of this beautiful Pacific coast. Beautiful, right? Now, this heavy air conditioning sound is a common theme of all sightseeing lounge cars I've been on. I think they just try to keep them as cool as possible due to high popularity along these long distance routes. Soon you'll have the dune in between the water and the train, and you will come across an interesting landmark. What you see here is a bit of military property. That's right folks, this Coast Starlight train runs right through. Yes, through the Vandenberg Air Force Base, or I'm sorry, Vandenberg Space Force Base now. And that is also an indicator of our train moving a few miles inland, marking the end of surfing along the water. Here and on, you will find colorful, yes, even during winter, some colorful fields and mountains and right out of the movie, expensive built on hills houses. Personally, I'll be scared to death living there, but perhaps you get used to it. As hours go on, we pass by another military base, Camp Roberts. And as the sun sets and darkness glooms, you will be just outside of San Francisco. This is Oakland Station, one of two stations outside of San Francisco. So this is the Bay Bridge, right? Yeah, Bay Bridge. Bay Bridge, okay. There is a connecting bus to city downtown, assuming it's not cancelled due to a storm. And here in San Francisco, enjoy the city, go on a cruise ship, see the Golden Gate Bridge, the Alcatraz, take however long you'd like to see the city. and some sea lions. And once you are ready to get back on a train, make your way to a train station like I did today. And from here on, on I'll show you guys the interior of my sleeper accommodation. I usually get the shot of train coming in, but it's here so early. <laughs> Oh, is it? Yeah, for oh, 13. Oh. Okay. Superliner. It's a cozy little space. Yes, very little space for one or two. Mm. Since I'm alone, upper bunk bed is folded in place. All right. Let me first get settled in. All right. I am once again in a superliner. Sort of like a room tour. And that's all there is. Just kidding. I mean, I'm joking, but really not joking at the same time. Our double deckers, two stories. And so they're not as spacious compared to view liners. On view liners, you have a huge space on top. Good evening, passengers, and welcome aboard this that is Jason can... in the dining car. Right, for our sleeping car passengers and coach passengers, if you want to join us for breakfast, it's a flat seat, it's $20 per person. Thank you and have a great night, folks. On one side, we got a reading light along with a music control. Not every car has one of these. Along the wall, coat hangers, small towels, as well as a coat hook. That's always hard to say. And a seat belt for your coat. Now do this. Yeah, you don't want your backpack falling on your face while you're asleep. Yeah. On the other side, an outlet, but not every outlet has a ledge, so make sure you also pack a tiny charger, just in case. It's actually my very first time being on the first floor of the Double Deckers. I must have been one of the last ones to book because we save the first floors to those who, need, who have limited mobility. 
choo choo. How oh, I miss this rumble. Rumble. As the train moves, the Duck Hong Duck Hong sound. I spent over two weeks in California. Most of it, well, at least half of it, was because of unexpected things. It's part of the travel, right? Coast Starlight does not have Wi-Fi. You better have unlimited data. Uh -huh. Or have enough stuff downloaded prehand to last you however many hours that you're gonna need to go. Lucky for me, do have unlimited hotspot as well, so. Of time, we've had an incident occur with the railroad, and so we're going to be holding here for a while uh, until we get the situation resolved. So, uh, unfortunately, at this time, we'll just be standing by. If you'd like to step off the train to get a breath of fresh air, uh, you are welcome to do so. We'd so, um, 15, <laughs> 15 minutes into the ride out of the 18 hours we've had our first incident and <laughs> well yeah 10 it's been an hour oh oh hmm well we've been stuck here for about 75 minutes now Rather than hopelessly waiting, why don't I just call it a night? I am kind of getting sleepy too, so let's explore the train in the morning as I get my breakfast, which is included in the sleeper accommodation. Yep. This is a skill you must practice. So you press it all the way. Water is so water is so strong. You just spray everywhere. So you have to practice. Yeah. Oh, we're moving. Finally, you know, I, I was about to say like it, it felt like I was in a dream or something like on this entire floor I'm the only person in this on this first floor It felt surreal like it felt like I was dreaming or something. Yeah, but finally It's been a while since I had this bumpy sleep bumpy bed This was what I was talking about when I, when I said I wanted to see some different landscapes. In my 40 days of travel since December, I've been crossing southern states. So this was my very first time seeing any snow this winter season. Up the stairs, we got some free amenities, some coffee and cold water. As closed doors and curtains show, 
we had quite many guests on the upper floor. Also note, you can only move between cars on the upper level, and not every cars are the same. This one has a bit of woody touch and finish, and alphabets indicate larger rooms. These are the same room as I am in, except in the woody car. Soon, I was finally at the dining car. Now, I figured I'll first just walk through it to see the rest of the train first. Luckily, other half of the dining car was empty, so I was able to get a better look. Immediately behind the dining car was the sightseeing lounge, which was as popular and as well air-conditioned as usual. Below is the cafe car with assortment of snacks and foods. I'll include the full menu in the description. This time started from Virginia. Oh. Yeah, I'm taking a train around America. Oh, wonderful. How about when you? did you start? Uh, December, first week of December. Oh, okay. Now, we had some delayed trains. Did that affect you? Yeah. I was supposed to be on this train last week. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, the snow, snow yes. storm, yes. storm. I'm also planning on taking the train from Portland to Chicago. We'll see oh, how that goes. Yeah. That's also been canceled a few times. Right. This is a tough time of year. Yeah. Last year, I was going to go to Chicago from Washington, oh, okay, from and Washington. It, got, it got canceled. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I don't know. I don't know. Then I continue to admire the first snow of the season. But I'm barely halfway north, so you can bet I'll see a lot more. <laughs> mm, snow, snow, snow. Uh -huh. <coughs> yeah, a lot more. And thank you very much, Amtrak, for hours of shoveling you'd have to have done to keep us safe. Knock, knock, hello, sir. Would hello. you like to come in for lunch today in the dining car? Uh, I was actually hoping to eat in the room. Is you that possible? in the dining car? Yeah, is okay, that also yeah, possible? Know. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I got you on the list. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you. Room service is also possible, so I figured I'll try that on view liners which don't have a proper full kitchen they only do room service on super liners where they have actual like full kitchen you can choose to either eat in the dining car or you can also have it delivered to your room from San Francisco Emeryville there's a train that goes up north and then there's also a train that goes straight to Chicago I opted to go up north and then go east. That way I can see more land, different landscapes. 
Train 28 has been cancelled. Which means I'll now have to wait out the storm, however long that takes, or go back the exact same route back to San Francisco and make my way to Chicago. I am good to go, thank you so much. Whew. Yeah, I was uh, sweating. A uh, bit of tip for you guys. If your train gets cancelled, as I kept looking through my options, like I could see the price going up. <laughs> because everybody who got cancelled is trying to rebook into the fastest, earliest uh, accommodation. So the price was going up as I refreshed 419, 620, 680, 760. And I was I was I was sweating like the next available was like thousand dollar thousand twenty dollars bedroom and I'm like no 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 um, <laughs> but then yeah I was on the call and looks like he was able to just get me in the same room for the same price so same price like if I tried booking now it, it says thousand twenty but yeah well wow. wow. And so with a bit of peace of mind, I got to enjoy more of the scenery. My eyes were glued to the window, the train continued moving, and soon, I heard a knock on my door. Their brownie is real. Ham talk change. Mm. Wow. I see at least two slices of cheese. Might even be three. <laughs> Once again, I had no Coke Zero. But there were these big mountains to make up for it. Plus these brownies. The best brownies over a beautiful scenery. What else could I possibly ask for? Not a good sign. Have uh, some damage in the head for the process of This could be a while. Wow, we made up a lot of hours. As soon as we departed, we had almost two hours of stoppage. Now, we made up a lot of time on the way, and we were scheduled to arrive just nine minutes, nine minutes late. Well, of course, now, with the downed tree, well, yay. Be here momentarily once they get moving. We'll get the signal and continue on. Sorry for the delay. And then we'll be following the train on end of Eugene. Thank you. Apparently, uh, there's a cattle mm. on the track. Yeah. <laughs> knock knock dinner reservation. Yes, sir. I'm also Portland too, so. You want the reservation to be on the safe side? Just to be on the safe okay. side, yes. So, <clears throat> so this is a reservation slip. I was supposed to arrive before four, meaning you know, no time for dinner. Um, my sleeper ticket does not come with the dinner. However, we're scheduled to arrive around six. 
For our coach passengers, I do have a little bit of space available at 6 o'clock and 6.30. The way dinner works, it's a flat fee of $45 per person. That includes an appetizer, entree, dessert, a soft drink, and one alcoholic beverage of your choosing. That was lazy me letting our conductor explain how dinner works. Anyhow, we are now three hours behind. Scheduled to arrive between 6 and 7, which is why I was given dinner reservation just in case. Look at all these people. All these people who would have had to wait three hours. Yeah, three hours for our delayed train. <clears throat> I was home, uh, 14 years. Right. Here I was in snow covered town, no, ice covered town of Eugene, Oregon. That's a good idea. Or better sight. <laughs> not gonna be any delay we're gonna write right on time yeah I must jinx it even more and at this point I'm, I'm rather just hoping for another hour of delay yeah so that I can get my free stick yeah <laughs> anybody notice the difference it's like the power went out oh boy I really jinxed it there, huh? I'm sorry, my fellow passengers. You know what? You see, a lazy mom thought, all right, I'll be checking in at a hotel soon. I'll shower in comfort, was my original thought. But as soon as the power went out, it was a different story. Hey ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, we've lost what the HEP, the head in, the head in power, which uh, powers our uh, microwaves and so forth for the kitchen and food service type of items. So forth for the kitchen and food service. I'm going to need to uh, take a few minutes to run up to the head end of the train and do some troubleshooting and try to hear it. You'll know if it, it uh, no. if I get it done. No. Everything will pop no. on and start running. So. Well, so I was okay with delays because with delays come free meal. And now, with the power gone, well, if we get delays but no free meal, that is not okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe West Coast just is not welcoming me. Doesn't want me here. <laughs> How many train cancellations have I encountered so far? Like four? Four or five? Yeah. Half joke, half serious, but if I had to name number one reason as to why I'm gonna stay on my East Coast life, <laughs> it's gonna be Coke Zero. Yeah. I don't wanna have to dine in at a restaurant and then afterwards go to Walgreens or CVS to buy a bottle of Coke Zero so that I can finally have a proper drink. Yeah. back we got it all settled we're taking off oh, goodbye Eugene Depot 
Hello, your train is now stopped so that crews can clean the track switches of snow and ice built up along the route ahead. We anticipate an additional 45 minute delay. Do you have a seat open next to you, please? Please make it open and available. Ultimately, I'm going to have standing room only on this train just to accommodate everyone. So we don't leave anyone out in the cold here tonight. So please. Oh my God. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if I have your attention, please. We are stopped again. <laughs> Should be brief. Oh. Looks like we uh, we hit a, a tree branch or something. I'm going to go and remove it from the back of the train. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are here in the coaches, I will be starting to make uh, start giving out snack packs and water, if you like. <laughs> As you'd be able to guess, we were some good 5 hours behind. And so, I got my coconut crusted shrimp, dinner roll, Amtrak signature flat iron steak cooked to a medium, ooh, along with chocolate toffee mousse for my three course meal. Yum! Now I was checking the menu to make this video and I noticed Amtrak has updated most of its menu. I also noticed some 30 minutes into dinner my camera angle was horrible. So yeah, that's all there is. Conversation's hard. Oh, oh had a decent meal. This was actually the first time where I thought Amtrak steak was actually just good, not great. But I don't know. I don't know if this five hours delay is worth the free dinner. Yeah. Well, in addition to the meal, Amtrak did provide me a travel voucher worth $150, which I wasted because it was for a single use. This is Portland, Oregon. They're only arriving in a new city is exciting, but the only thing I can think of right now is just to get inside, get in the hotel room, and rest. Yeah. And finally, I was arriving in Portland, Oregon. Luckily, I've never had any major delays prior to this one. Perhaps I was overly lucky, or this one was overly unlucky. I mean, it was during a storm season. Regardless, it was a memorable experience, and I still consider trains as my favorite method of travel. Whew. I usually see the front of the train, but it's so cold. Oh my goodness. Well, here it is. Well, I'll be back to take the train to Chicago, but this is what it looks like. At night. Woo. Right, I'm getting excited. And so, after 23 hours of my 18 hours ride, I was finally in Portland's Union Station. Yay! Like that, I concluded my. Uh oh. Portland is still recovering from an ice storm, and only one Lyft driver is driving right now. Hey, I already waited 5 hours. Mere 15 minute wait is no problemo. And finally, I was able to reach my hotel and rest for the night. <sighs> oh. Thanks for taking along. Goodbye.